So we're here to talk about um, Project 3. So Project 3 can be anything from Chapter 5 and 6, but it has to be between the years 1750 and 1825. So it's supposed to, it's, it, it needs to connect to the Seven Years' War, the War of 1812, or the American Revolution. So some, port of, some type of battle, some type of um, conflict, not an explorer, not a... Uh, um, not a First Nations tribe or anything like that. So it has to connect to some kind of conflict and it has to be a very specific event, person or concept that was um, important in the Seven Years' War, the War of 1812 or the American Revolution. So you cannot do the War of 1812 as a project because it's just too big. You can't do that and get to the depth that is necessary um, that is expected for for this this project for seven years war same thing for the american revolution same thing they're just they're too big you have to pick something specific like the ohio river valley or the siege of quebec or the siege of louisburg or the um, boston tea party or the uh, battle of waterloo or some the burning of york the burning of washington the green tigers there's so many different things in this uh, that can be covered in this um, it is due February 10th, which is, as you follow my mouse down here, you can see um, one week, two weeks, three and a half weeks away. So you've got some time, but again, since the last project took you more than 10 weeks to finish, I would uh, get onto this quickly. Now, I will not be checking step by step along the way. You will hand in everything at the end, but it will follow the same process where uh, if you want, you will be marked on depth, you will be marked on the questions and the connections, you will be marked on the due date and uh, the research. So if we go to D2L and we go over here to assessments up here, and we, we go down to rubrics, rubrics, and we open rubrics up. You can see presentation rubric three. So when you go to here, you should be able to go here and preview it. And it will show you the rubric for presentation level three. So research is talked about there. Depth of the project is talked about there. On time, it's on time, it's not. Video handed in online. And the questions shown with research. Uh, the video must be the same project or the same format. It's just your face, it's nothing else. We don't need a PowerPoint, we don't need anything like that, just your face. For the questions and the research, it doesn't need to follow the questions and then the research. For instance, if you start to research what uh, event you wanted to talk about in the War of 1812, it's going to have to start with research. So when you pick your event, you go back to the questions, you ask a few questions about that. As you continue on and you research those questions, more research the answers to those questions, more questions will pop up. So you research those questions and then more questions pop up. So you research that and more questions pop up, etc., etc. until you have a strong, strong grasp of this topic as well as the things it connects to and the, the, the things it, that led to it and the things it led to and um, what role it played in, based in Canadian development. Um, that's where the, the depth and the questions and the connection marks will, will be brought in. Um, if you have any questions, please watch the older videos or come see me in class and we'll, I'll be happy to discuss it. But um, this question, this, this video will be the, the, the very first jumping off point for where we are. I hope that helps. Thanks.